How many of you know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper? Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned. How many of you know that? I thought I would just share that with you, you know, as I continue to do what the mighty move of God would have me to do in this place, in this space, in this time in my life, such as this. I am so grateful, I'm so honored to be where God would have me to be doing what he would have me to do above all else, above all else. And so tonight, before I bring you the message that um, I want to share with you, I've shared it before, but you know, it's nothing like when you read the word of God, you get a revelation and then you read the same message and then you get another revelation. How many has had that experience i'm sure i'm not the only one but i thank god every time he shows me something new when i read the same scripture over and over and over again it's just a blessing it just does something to my spirit and i just can't keep it to myself i want to share it with the world i want to share with you all the more people you know just that tunes into me the more i do this over and over and over again and it's just been years and years and years and i'm so grateful i can't say enough about how grateful i am to be able to use my voice to magnify his holy name to bless him at all times to praise him you know I shall praise him at all times I speak life over myself I speak life over you guys every time I come and I share a blessed word I hope that you are able to pick out the golden nuggets that I share with you in the little time that I spend with you. I don't want to take up too much time, but just enough for you to get something out of that. Because you never know what somebody's going through. You never know. You know, you don't know my story. I don't know your story. But I know that we all need to encourage one another. We all need to hear that God is still on the throne he has our back no matter what you're dealing with god has already worked it out he's already handled it he's in control and we need to remember that it's almost like you know regurgitating over and over and over again it doesn't matter how many times you know it in your mind you have to speak it out of your mouth you have to implant it in your heart and you know that you know in your spirit that God is going to do the impossible. Because he said it in his word. And so I come to you tonight um, with my study Bible. As always, of course, you know, it's just marked up because I just study, I study, I study to show myself approved unto God all the time. And he just enlightens me every time I have a message for you all and for myself because I get revelation in the midst of just reading the scriptures. Something else jumps out at me all the time. Um, I'm coming from the book of Joshua chapter 1 and I'm starting at verse 8. And if you're not familiar with it, hey take time to read it if you're familiar with it great you know um we're gonna go through it together it says do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth meditate on it day and night so that it so that you may be careful to do everything written in it then you will prosper and be successful have I not commanded you that's God asking the question have I not commanded you to do this 
Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat verse 9 all over again. I want you to catch that. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So as you go throughout your day, as you go throughout your week, the Lord is with you. He's never left you nor forsaken you. He's with you. You carry him in your spirit. You know, some days we have our off days, just ain't right days, just can't get with it days. But God is right there in the midst of it all. And when I have those moments, I stop and I say, Lord, my God, my God. And then sometimes I say, you know, Jesus, just take the wheel. I want to make sure that I move out of the way so that you can do what you need to do on my behalf. And I'm so grateful every time. He shows me, I got you, I got you. Don't worry, don't be terrified, don't be discouraged, don't be dismayed, I got you. I, I was driving in my car, me and my daughter today, and we were driving down the highway and we stumbled across an accident. And um, as we were passing the accident, you know, it, 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 was, it was a rough accident. And all I could think about was the people that was in the car because their airbags had deployed on both sides. And I said, my God, I hope that they're all right. Because it looks pretty bad. And all I could do was think about the goodness of the Lord. And say, Lord, protect these people in this moment. Protect them. You said that you would provide all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. That's what we stand on. That's our hope. It's a comfort in knowing that God is with us each and every moment of our lives. It's a comfort in knowing that you know the God that you serve will not fail you. So I bring to you tonight, Tamla Man, God provides. How many of you know that God provides all the time? God provides. Hallelujah. So why do I worry about my life when you come to my rescue a thousand times? Every other voice it is a lie. God provides. God provides in ways I can't explain and can't deny. In ways I can't explain, God provides. About you. Hallelujah. Just when I feel he won't show up on time, God provides. He'll come through. When the clouds of doubt bring down on you. Hallelujah. And test everything. Everything thought that you knew he will test you. Now you find the sea with God can do. Now you see what God can do for you. For you. 
He can come back. Close your eyes. And just rest yourself in God's loving arms. And know that he's going to provide for you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for providing for us, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy to your name. Jesus, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My feelings can't control my destiny. I only want what God wants for you. And I only want what God wants for me. I want for him to provide exactly what he said he's going to do for all of us. According to our needs. My needs and your needs are totally different. But guess what? You know, I feel it in my spirit. I haven't felt this in my spirit in, in a long time but tonight somebody is needing somebody's needing prayer for something somebody's needing prayer for something it just it just it, it just picked it up in my spirit somebody's needing prayer somebody's needing prayer for something oh Jesus hallelujah glory 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 I don't know what you need prayer for, but God is saying, pray, pray for whoever under the sound of my voice is listening to this video. You need prayer for something. I don't know what it is, but you know what it is. And that's all that matters is that you know what it is. But God said when two and three are gathered together in his name, he will be there also in the midst of it all. So therefore, tonight, I'm going to pray with you, my brothers and sisters, that God is going to provide exactly whatever it is that you're believing him for. Whatever it is that you're, playing, you're praying and you're standing in the midst of, God will provide. So I'm going to close out tonight in prayer. Father God, I come to you right now, boldly and humbly. We lay our prayer requests, our petitions at your mercy seat, Father God. It's somebody under the sound of my voice, Father God, tonight that's needing you. That's standing in the need of a blessing. I feel it all in my spirit. It's just moving on the inside. So I come to you tonight on the behalf of my brother and my sister who's needing a little more Jesus. Lord, you know all about their situation. You know all about their trouble. You know all about their trials and their tribulations. So I come to you tonight. And I pray. And I send out a war cry on their behalf. That you will answer their prayer only like you can. No one other than you, Father God, can do what you said that you're going to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all else. So I come to you tonight, Father God, standing, touching and agreeing with them that you will wrap your loving arms around them and allow them to know that you are with them and that you're going to provide all of their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. If they're hurt or if they're hurting, if they're in pain, if they got sickness in their body, the doctor gave them a bad report, they're standing in need of a financial blessing. They're just waiting for a miracle. They're waiting for a breakthrough. They're shouting, Lord, where are you? Where are thou? Where are thou? Have thou forsaken me? But Lord, I come standing and knowing that you have never left them nor forsaken them. So tonight I come.
praying, touching and agreeing with them that you will show up and show out on their behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, under the sound of my voice, that this will touch and move every part of their body. And it will leave them in perfect peace so when they lay down, they will lay everything aside so that you can pick it up. And they will rest and it will be well with their soul. Amen, amen, amen. Glory, hallelujah. You all be blessed and have a wonderful night. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, it just touches me every time I think about the Holy Spirit raining down on me and uh, allowing me to pray for, you know, some people, you know, they're saying, what do I pray? What do I say? What do I do? You know, and it's been a long time that God, you know, would just plant that in my spirit. Plant that in my spirit. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, uh, mm. God provides. God provides. You all be blessed. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. Until next time, I see you again. When I see you again. Hallelujah.